Hi, Captain Bruce Chard here with Hatch Pro Staff, and today I'm going to share with you how I like to tie my blood knot. Now, everybody knows how to tie a blood knot, I think, but you know what? They don't like to tie because they seem to think that it's a pain. Well, I'm going to give you some tricks here that might help you. I'm going to take some 40 pound medium hard hatch mono, just a little bit here just to get going here, and I'm going to heat it up with my fingers so it's easier to work with, okay? So give me one second. Nice and easy like this. Nice and straight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little loop here so I know that's my 40. So I know how many turns I'm going to put on this. So I'm going to take some of the 30 now. This is a 022 diameter. And I'm going to just pull a little bit off here as well. Get a little heat. Okay, now, lubrication is huge. There's two big reasons why blood knots don't work. You don't lube them enough so they don't seat up correctly, or you have too many wraps so they don't seat up correctly. Both ways will grip and bite into each other, cut the line against itself, and therefore make the knot weaker. We wanna make sure that we lube it enough and have the correct amount of wraps so these knots come up tight and then have a nice strong connection without any bite marks or any uh, scars on, this, on the mono at all. So we're gonna take, we're gonna do a four and four turn here. I like to keep my index finger and my thumb like this to make a separation so when I pull it tight it kind of gives me a little bow right there to work with, okay? Plenty of lube, I'm going to lube my fingers and then I'm going to lube the section as well. I'm going to make a four turn wrap this way. Make the wraps loose and wide, two, three, four, and every time I rotate like that I'm rotating the lube from my fingers on there as well so I'm getting lube on every curve, okay? And then I'm going to Start with the other way, and I'm going to give it a lick and lube it on every wrap as well. Four turns here as well. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, these are two different knots. They jam together. And we're going to give it a little bit of a snug like this, so I can let go, and it's not going to undo itself. And I'm going to dip it in this bowl of water right here, okay? You really can't lick it enough to make it come tight. So, I'm going to pull it nice and steady here. And you can see how it seats up beautifully. Nice. Now what's really key about this knot is that, again, like I said, we wanted to make sure we tied the knot without any bite marks and we want the loops to all come together nice and smooth and we have that. You can't beat that. Nice and smooth connection. This is because this material is really high quality and it allows these knots and the lubrication to work together and full and tight and get a nice solid connection, which I'm really confident with that right now. So blood knot, way to go. For more cool leader not tying videos like this check out hatchoutdoors.com